turn. So what had been originally heading south of Yukon now is coming toward the Yukon area. It had been well south of El Reno. It has turned uh, and is going now closer to the east side of El Reno. So we'll have to monitor okay. this storm and this tornado hey. position moment by moment. Dr. Forbes, we, uh, we do have um, meteorologist Mike Bettis on the phone. Hey, Mike, uh, we were really worried about you there. How are you doing and uh, what's your situation right now? Chris, uh, kind of our worst nightmare. We were hit by the tornado. Um, we were racing to get out of its path. It was coming right toward us. I got to tell you, my life flashed before my eyes. Our vehicle uh, thrown about 200 yards. Uh, everyone in our vehicle is okay. Our vehicle is about pancake flat. Um, oh uh, we have two vehicles that are uh, operable and moving, but there are multiple cars on uh, Highway 81 that have been slipped. People have been tossed from the cars. There are a lot of people have stopped to help people out. They're already here. I see one, two, three, four cars that have been flipped off the road. The guy that's been laying here in the median, the guy stopped in the suburban and picked him up and put him in the back of the suburban. Holy cow. We just got overtaken by it. We were racing to get away from it. Uh, there was no no 90 degree angle to get away from. We were all tossed. A little bloody. My hands a little bloody. Uh, our, guys, our guys are okay. Uh, but oh my goodness. That was the scariest moment of my life. Uh, I, could, I could feel us floating in the air. The thing it literally picked up. We have a Suburban that we drive in. If we had a smaller car, I think we'd be dead. And, and Mike, Greg Forbes here, glad to hear from you. Uh, we were really concerned. Uh, we saw that tornado go right over you. Your car got moved? You, how far do you think you got tossed in the, in the van? Uh, our, our truck got tossed about 200 yards. Wow. Southbound on 81, it is a four-lane highway with a median in the middle to get tossed over the northbound lane and into a field. Uh, all of our airbags deployed, the front of the car has been smashed, all the windows are out, the front engine has been smashed, the wheels are all smashed off of it. Um, it, it was as scary a situation as you can possibly imagine, but we all ducked down below window level, uh, everyone's okay. Um, got out of the car and watched it go off. Uh, trust me when I tell you, you do not want to be in a car and this comes. Now I look off in the distance here, Dr. Forbes. I see some homes over there. They've taken a significant hit. Uh, I see some damage to them over there. I see some barns that have been damaged. I see a couple of homes. One, two, three, four, maybe as many as four homes. It looks like they've taken a direct hit. The thing went right over top of them. Yeah, Mike, this thing has a huge debris signature, a huge debris ball with it. Uh, uh, I'm afraid there's a lot of damage, and you, uh, unfortunately, uh, might have momentarily been part of that debris that the tornado was uh, casting up. I'm really glad you're okay. Yeah, Mike, again, uh, again Mike, I just want to confirm, you guys are okay, and I, I think I heard you say there were other cars. Is there everybody else okay that, that you've been able to see? Uh, as far as I can tell, the cars that are near us that are flipped upside down, there's a couple of cars that are flipped upside down. As far as I can tell, everyone's out of them. Police are here. They're going through the cars. A couple of good Samaritans have stopped as well. They're going through the cars. It looks like everyone is out of their vehicles, as far as I can tell. And this one has one vehicle over there. And that's yours? You got hit. Are you okay? Are you all right? I'm Tornado is getting very close to the Yukon. 